in a very common question, he writes, I'm looking at getting a new DSLR. I've done a lot of research, but don't have a clean cut answer on whether or not CMOS sensors are better or just as good as CCD. One of my uses will include photographing my wife's dance performances, which are generally in low light settings. Have CMOS sensors caught up to CCDs? I'm trying to decide between the Sony A380 and the A500, Sean in South Carolina. CCDs or charge coupled devices traditionally offered the best image quality, while CMOS, aka complementary metal oxide semiconductor were found only in cheap cameras. I like saying that. I like saying that. Complimentary metal oxide semiconductor. It's a fun word to it say. It is fun phrase, to say. I guess. Uh, Canon and Kodak led the way in bringing CMOS tech to high quality DSLRs. Uh, chances are you won't notice a difference between the two mm -hmm. types of sensors. Uh, by the way, both the Sony cameras you listed are CMOS equipped. The truth of the matter is you can't judge a camera's image quality on one simple parameter. There's all sorts of things which well, we talk about People are still obsessed time. with megapixels. Hey, I, you know, I got rid of my 10 megapixels megapixel camera, I got a 12 megapixel camera, it's great. Like, oh, oh, are you blowing them up to poster size? And, and the truth are is... Are you making the, giant billboard size images? There's almost no difference between Not 10 billboard. megapixel and 12 megapixel. When yeah. you go from like 10 megapixel to 40 megapixel, then you're talking about big changes. And exactly. Look, sensor types, I mean, it, digital cameras are complex devices. Everything from the glass that grabs the light to the sensor that captures it at the back end to the processing between that and the memory. Basically, and, and by the way, you want to take a great camera and screw it up, compress the images a lot. All of these things contribute to picture quality or black thereof. A more reliable way to judge a digital camera is to test one thoroughly or look up camera reviews from a reputable reviewer. We're huge fans of CNET's Lori Gruden as well as sites like cameralabs.com and dcresource.com. They all run cameras through a battery of tests including image performance, ergonometrics, and the feature set or ergonomics I guess. Yeah. Ergonometrics, ergonomics. would be like measuring ergonomics. Yeah and if you're asking us unless you're getting a mad deal on the Sony in your price range uh, we'd go with the Canon EOS Rebel T1i or the Nikon D5000, which you saw in the episode last week, actually. Um, better lenses, and you get high-quality video, which the Sony lacks. If you do have a mad deal on the Sony, go with the A500. Mm -hmm.